Hi, I'm Brian Van from SportBikeTracker.com. Today we're going to do a video review on the all-new Shark Speedar full face helmet. We are very happy to see Shark back in the country with their full face helmets. They did not have distribution here for these products for the last couple of years. They did have in place their Evil Line modular with the distributor, but now we've got a new distributor that stepped up and they're importing these three full face models that we are covering in this video series. What I want to tell you too is something new that we've done. I've ridden each one of these helmets today back to back to back so that I can give you the most information possible when I do this review. More than features and benefits, but also an opinion of what I thought about the helmet when I rode in it. This helmet was designed with the naked sport bike in mind. Okay, a naked bike is what they said they geared it towards. I rode it on a naked bike and a fared bike, it works great either way. Okay, so don't read into that and think that, man, you can only buy this if you're riding a naked style bike. It worked great either way. Let's talk about size. I measure 58 centimeters right on the money. Using the size chart for sharp puts me in a medium. That's what this is. It fit and felt great. I mean, I really, really like the fit of this helmet. And this is, without a doubt, driven right towards Street Rider. You can use this on the racetrack too if you want to, but it's definitely geared towards Street Rider, you know, because it has that cool drop down shield that we're going to show you, right? It's got a nice ventilation system. That drop down shield is great because you don't have to ever change the shields on the helmet. Just pull the drop down, boom, you've got a tinted screen. Consistent sizing with most other models out there, because I'm normally a medium. So that being said, for most of us, order the size that normally fits you. I think you're going to be good to go right from Jump Street. Remember, if you ever need to exchange it, return it, we make all that very painless. We even cover on items like this. The first exchange from us to you, we take care of the shipping. It just makes it a little more affordable in case you need to switch sizes. If you got it, you tried it on, and you felt that it didn't fit as you'd expect it. Features and benefits for the Speed R. Let's start off with ventilation. That's a key for most people out there. We have a chin vent, it's either on or off. Nice, solid action. It worked real well with the gloves. We have an intake vent here up on the crown of the helmet. It's either on or off. It's a large vent and it worked very well. We've got some Venturi Effect diffusers in this area here as well. Ventilation performance. I would say the ventilation on this helmet was good. It's not at the same level as say the Racer Pro, right, where it's tremendous, but it was definitely good. I would say absolutely adequate. Quiet. The helmet was quiet when riding. I really enjoy that, especially in a street helmet. Some of the real high-end racing helmets that ventilate well, they're really noisy. This was good and quiet. Drop down inner screen. The field of vision this offers and the way that it's positioned very close to the breadth deflector, it puts this right in the sweet spot for me. Some of the other helmets are, God, they're just, I wish they were a little bit longer because you can kind of see the edge of it when you're riding. Shark did a good job with their drop down. It extends far enough down. And for me, when riding, I didn't even notice that I was using two shields. Optically, everything looked good and correct. I didn't see anything that was in my line of sight that really bothered me. Another thing I'd like to point out is they use a different mechanism than I've seen. It's on the top of the helmet on the left side, of course, clutch hand. It's so easy to engage or disengage this when you're riding. It's a very smooth action, high quality. I think they did a great job with it. The shield on the Speed R is shared with the Race R Pro. Very high tech shield. Anti fog, anti scratch. It's got a nice lock. When you push it all the way down, it locks it in place. It's easy to disengage, but what that does, it holds it in place. I did head checks, had zero issues whatsoever. The retention system is one of the best, if not the best, that we've seen yet. It's held on at four points, two on each side. Very strong. 
to remove this shield. When it's in the downward position, pull on this lever, rotate it till it's about in the middle of the shield, somewhere there, right? Repeat on the other side, grab it over here, lift up, and you see quickly both of the retainers pop out, pull outward, it comes right off, like so. You wanna go ahead and zoom in a little bit there, Josh? Give them a look. This is, in my opinion right now, the best shield system we've seen. And if you look at it, it's really, really simple. There's not a whole bunch of moving parts, right? There's no springs and clips and all these release and everything. It's very, very basic. It's a pivot and a channel. The only moving parts are going to be on the shield itself are going to be the release lever. There is a spring, and that is actually an aluminum piece that retains the shield to the helmet. So it's being held in four points. To reinstall it, just push it in, line up the channel, push in like so. Repeat that on both sides. Make sure it's in all the way. I want you to get that shield somewhere in the middle of the travel. Push in, rotate back. Push in, rotate back. Perfect. Ray Charles could do that. You don't even need to see to be able to do that. That is I think the best one I've seen out there to date. Double D ring, helmet strap, little snap to hold the excess strap out of the way. Comes with a removable chin curtain. I've got it installed right now. Easy in, easy out. Removable, washable, replaceable helmet interior. Let's kind of tidy this up, and I want to let you know what I thought about it when I rode in it, and share just a couple other details about the shell. We're going to follow that with a complete disassembly of this helmet to give you a high level look from the inside out. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned for the rest. The shell uses their long fiber technology, woven technology, typically with sharp, thin shell. The weight on this helmet is size medium with the drop down inner screen, which adds some weight, remember that, was right around 3.7 pounds, good and light. And I gotta tell you, I was surprised when I put it on a scale, I'm like, wow, I can't believe this is 3.7, because it felt a lot lighter. We actually, when we were putting them on a scale, we thought this was gonna be the lightest one of the bunch, but it turned out to be a couple tenths of a pound heavier than the other two were. Not a big deal, perfectly balanced on the bike. Excellent airflow, stable at speed. I think this is gonna be at home for street riding, street and track riding. You know, the drop-down visor work great on the street, work great on the track, it's gonna be perfect either way. The EPS on this helmet is also, their shark fin EPS is channeled out, back like little individual shock absorbers, right? ECE 2205 certified safe helmet. Shark does a great job, okay? And this is a fine example. One of the best helmets they've ever built is sitting in front of me right now. They used to really struggle, in, in my opinion, a little bit when they got below their top level helmet. Boy, that's not the case. All three that I rode in today I really like. Now let's break into a complete disassembly of this helmet, give you a look from the inside out. Once again, the shield. We're going to just rotate that lever forward on either side. Grab it. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Off it comes. Removable breath deflector. To remove it, we're just going to go ahead and pull up on either end and then we need to slide it over to the left. A little different system here to hold this in place, but it's gonna keep it in there permanently, very nicely, not to worry about losing this. You can see here, the three larger holes slide over the pegs, and then to lock it in place, you'll slide it left and push the two ears down. You can see here that when you have the chin vent open, it's gonna blow the air up onto the shield and help to demist it. It's anti-fog, it works well. This helps to enhance that performance. Removable interior. We're going to reach in here. There are three snaps and some Velcro. Something else I'd like to show you once I remove this is their easy fit glasses adjustment system. I don't personally wear glasses, so I left the inserts in here. If you do happen to wear glasses when you ride, you know that with a lot of the helmets, it can be a fight getting them in, and once you get them in, it puts a little bit of pressure on the arm of the glasses, and it just sucks. Sharp came up with a very simple solution for that. If you look inside here, there is a removable padded insert, basically an extension of the foam of the cheek pad. 
If you're gonna wear your glasses, just pull that out. It makes the cheek pad super thin. Boom, it goes right in. Piece of cake. Let's remove the other cheek pad. Three snaps, a little bit of Velcro. Nice tug, it comes right out. This helmet will also accept their communicator systems if you're so inclined. For the top pad, reach in the back, pull down. The top pad is actually held in partially by the pressure from the cheek pad. Come to the front, disengage it from the plastic channel here at the brow of the helmet. Out it comes. Nice quality top hat, all removable, washable, replaceable, moisture wicking, all that good stuff. If you're going to put their communicator in, right, it's going to sit right in there, their sharp tooth communicator. Here are the pockets for the earpieces. Look at that EPS. Can you see that, Josh? The channel's in it. Sharp, thin EPS. It works in conjunction with that long fiber technology in the shell to render a very safe helmet. Shark has always done several things with their helmets to make them as safe as possible and they're always working to push that safety envelope further and further out. And that's one of the things I've always really liked about this company. They're not just building a helmet, they're doing several things to make the helmet safer first and then blending in all the creature comforts as they go along the way. And that's really evident here with right this thick shield, okay, variable thickness, I mean three millimeters at its thinnest point renders a very strong shield. Most of the other shields out there are quite thinner to the point where you can just literally you can grab almost any helmet shield and roll it like this and fold it inside out. Yeah, this one's a little thicker than that. Okay, I'm not gonna try that with this one, but this is gonna be stronger. A lot of additional thickness and strength built in here. The retention system I think is about the best that I've seen out there. Love that shark fin EPS. Little shock absorbers, each area there, you know, you take an impact and just deforms where it needs to. They've done a lot of testing too with impacts and how to better manage those. That's it. This is the all new Shark Speed R helmet. You can see it's gonna work great. Street, racetrack, combination of both. It is a nice helmet. Soup to nuts. I'm Brian Van from sportbytrackgear.com.